everyone welcome welcome Aries today I'm going to do your weekly reading this is going to be March 25th through the 31st please remember this is a general reading if you'd like something more specific my info is in the description box uh, timing is flexible and fluid um, but if you'd like something more specific a personal reading um, and if I hope I didn't say that already but you know my info is in the description box um, this reading is general, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, there's a video playlist link in my description box if you want to check out um, your other signs. Okay. The last thing that I have for you is um, I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month. Um, I was doing bracelets, but um, what happened was is because of the stay-at-home order, I can't ship anything right now. So. What I decided to do was to do uh, free personal readings. So um, I'm giving away two personal free readings um, and the winners for March will be announced the first week of April. I'll do a video, uh, pick an angel reading and I'll put winners on it. And um, so there'll be two winners. One will basically um, one winner will be chosen from all the, um, you know, subscribes, likes, and comments, okay, for each person. And then um, one winner will be chosen from uh, a video that's in my description box, I mean, that's in my playlist um, under my weekly readings, is a pick an angel reading that I did the first week of March, okay, that's where I announced the winners, it says winners on it, okay. Um, so anybody who commented on that video and liked that video um, will be entered as well. So the odds are better on that video, just so you know. All right, so let's get started, Aries. This is um, the Notes from the Universe deck or cards here. So let's get one card for Aries. What message do you have for Aries? Let's get one card. Okay, so we got that. Okay, and then I'm going to pull one card from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot deck. This is going to be the current energy for the week. If I didn't say it already, this is March 25th through the 31st. I think I said it already. All right, so let's get one card for Aries. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Aries? Oh, it looks like you got two messages. Okay. So the first card that you have, notes from the universe, things are not as they appear. Things are not as they appear. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze the universe. Okay. So in love, things may not appear how you think they are right now. Okay, remember this is general reading, so anything goes. It can be love, finances, career, okay? Um, you know, I know a lot of you, there's a lot of love situations going on because I read your comments, and I thank you so much for your beautiful comments and sharing. It helps me, um, you know, receive your energy. So the first card you have is the King of Gabrielle. Generous, inspirational dramatic and driven keep your eyes on the big picture leave the details to others experience that leads to success genuine concern for others okay so this is like the king of wands this is definitely your energy here aries so you know i feel here this is an indication there may be people that are depending on you right now um, you may be in a leadership role okay so they're really telling you just to look at the big picture. Don't get so focused on the details. That's the message I'm hearing because you also have this message of things may not be as they appear. So there may be things um, you may be feeling that um, you know things are going to go a certain way. You might be focusing too much on details and maybe just try to get a higher perspective and and look at things from you know. Um, the bigger picture as it says here, okay? Um, this also could be, you know, you needing to take action about something, okay? Um, but you may, you know, need to 
gain some perspective about it first. The next card you have is Seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Okay, so this is like, um, you know, Seven of Pentacles energy here. So this is uh, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So this is saying a lot of you may have already invested, you know, money or time into something um, and you're, you know, waiting for it to pay off. And they're just telling you to have patience here um, and to definitely make plans for your next um, endeavor. So, you know, that may be what this action that you need to take here, okay, is the King of Wands, is planning your next step here. Where do I go from here? Because I'm getting here that, you know, you may see that things, um, you know, you, you may have a vision that things are going to happen differently because of everything that's going on in the world right now. Okay. So I feel like, too, this is about you being a little bit creative, maybe thinking outside of the box as well. Okay. Because I feel here that the situation we're all in is going to open a lot of opportunities and new doors for people. Okay, so let me cut these cards and we'll start. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aries, March 25th through the 31st? What messages do you have for Aries, March 25th through the 31st? We have four of wands. Judgment. Wow, Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune here. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the Moon card. Okay, so interesting. Like I said, things may not, um, things are not as they appear. And you have the Moon card. This is Pisces energy, but also more importantly, it could be Cancer energy as well, is that there may be something that may be an illusion, okay? Um, or you may have fear about something, okay? So very interesting that this card came up with, um, you know, your first card that came out. All right, first card you have is Four of Wands, okay? So definitely, you know, this could be about you spending time with your family right now, um, you know, togetherness, commitment, Peace, joy, happiness, coming together with someone, you know, 1111, ult, you know, ultimate joy and happiness here. This is uh, fire energy. Again, your energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. So I feel here there's an indication um, with the judgment card, there may be somebody from your past that's returning. Okay. This may be somebody. Um, you know, where there may be some healing that needs to happen in the situation, okay? This also may uh, be a situation where you're having to make a judgment call. This could be about a family situation, does not have to be just about love. Um, but beautiful cards here. You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like Whatever's happening in this situation, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune brings blessings, good tidings, you know, prosperity. Um, it's also, you know, a, um, you know, this is a message of destiny. You know, you weren't sure why all of this is happening. Okay, and that's why, you know, I keep going back to this first card is you may think things are happening in a certain way. Um, and you may not understand what's going on right now, um, but this is coming to tell you that things are coming full circle now and the blessings are going to come. And I just had said, I feel here, you know, doors are going to be opening up for a lot of people here. And I feel here in your reading so far, you know, definitely um, you're going to have emotional fulfillment here and blessings coming your way. All right. Let's get some clarification cards. See what 
comes out here. Yeah, it may just be the silver lining or the blessing is that you're spending time with your family. Okay, but I also feel like somebody from your past is returning. I feel too it could be to heal a situation. Let's see what we have under the moon card. Yeah, look at this. Someone's coming in with a message here. Somebody's coming in with the message. I feel like this may be somebody from your past returning. Remember, the person from your past doesn't have to be a love interest because this is a general reading. I know for a lot of you it will be. Okay, but you're going to hear from somebody. All right. Thank you, angels. Uh, this could also be a, um, a court judgment that's going in your favor as well that affects your family. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, why is the four of wands here, please? There's one... Why is the four of wands? Two, three. Okay, why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Two, and let's get one more, three. And then why is the ten of cups and the wheel of fortune here? Let's get three cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. Okay, this could be Leo energy, but this is an indication of strength. I feel here too. This could be your person um, coming, you know, getting the courage to reach out to you. Like I said here, you had um, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, look, you have the strength card again. Okay. All right, so let's see here. For the Four of Wands, okay. Clarifying the Four of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like this could be a situation, if this is love for you or this is a family situation, I feel here with the Five of Cups, there's some type of loss, okay? This could be financially, you could be experiencing some financial loss right now, um, you know, not spending any money, you know, trying to be very practical, you know, um, holding back on any spending right now. Um, and, you know, feeling like you're in a position where you're hurting financially and it may be affecting your family. That's going to be for those of you for, if this is love, I feel here, there was a situation here, um, you know, could be twin flame situation, soulmate connection here where there was some type of loss here. And because of it, now you are a little bit guarded and you're holding back. And I'm also seeing here, you know, single energy here. So some of you may have become single um, from this situation. And then here you have the um, moon card again, Pisces uh, or Cancer energy here. Okay, not knowing what to expect here, being single here. All right. Um, or if you're not single, this could just be about you, you know, having some fears about the unknown at this time. This definitely could, um, you know, I feel here, you may feel it's going to affect, um, you know, all of the money or finances that you have already accumulated, okay? So I feel for some, that's going to be the fear financially. For others, this is going to be the fear, um, you know, of either... Am I going to lose this person? You know, it could be losing, um, not losing, uh, what I mean, losing, like, um, you know, as far as relationship, or there may have been a breakup or a separation here. Okay. So I feel like there's some fears around that, okay, with this happy family life, whether it's finances or love. Clarifying the judgment card here, we have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Okay, so definitely soulmate energy, I, and definitely somebody from the past. This could also be you being um, nostalgic about somebody from the past, thinking about this person. Could be water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then we have here the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay, so like I said, I definitely feel here um, somebody's returning from your past. I feel like you're going to receive a message from this person here. Could either be, um, you know, Capricorn, 
Taurus or Virgo or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, really could be um, any sign here. Um, but I feel here this person is coming in to, to express um, how they feel. I feel like this person's very kind. Also getting a feel here, this person may help you in some way as well. Okay, now clarifying the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so, you know, again, like I said, I feel like this person may be coming in to help you in some sort of way. They may, um, you know, want to give or help you out in some way here with the Queen of Cups. Again, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person definitely wants to put in the effort um, if this is a love situation for you, okay? For others, this just could be about you, um, you know, putting in the hard work, okay? For your family, you know, trying to sustain during this time. And then we have the Six of Wands. So we have the Victory card here, okay? So like I said, I do see emotional fulfillment blessings coming your way okay whether this is love or not love uh your energy again fire energy aries there sagittarius but i do feel like you're going to get through this whether this is love or not love okay you also may be somebody right now who's giving to the community i'm seeing that as well here with the queen of cups somebody um who's in the you know the public eye um, so you may have a role right now where you're definitely um, in some type of leadership role and there may be people looking up to you right now. And you had that actually in this first card here with the King of um, Gabrielle about, you know, looking at the big picture and not focusing on details. Okay, so a lot of different messages coming out there. All right, so we're going to pull some uh, Romance Angel cards and see what comes out. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aries? Let's get two more cards, please. One more card. Ooh, bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So I feel um, when this card comes out, I feel this is about you, you know, maybe unsure of somebody or you're not completely trusting of this person. I did see that somebody um, from your past is returning. So I feel like you're gonna be a little bit taken back by this person or unsure of their intentions or their motives here. Okay, so let's see what other cards you have. Okay, yeah. So definitely, um, I feel like you're gonna be unsure of this person. You have the forgiving and learning card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments, okay? So I, had, I talked about, you know, there may be some healing here with this person that needs to happen here, okay? Whether, you know, you decide to work on things with this person or not. And then look here, you have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? So this is a healing card. Definitely there's some healing here. This may be about healing a family issue. Okay, whether, you know, it's mother, father, brother, sister, or whether this is, you know, a love interest that you have children with or, um, you know, where two families come together and you both have children. But there's definitely healing involved in this situation. So I feel like this person is coming back into your life for some type of, um, to bring healing or, you know, to um, heal a situation that happened from the past, okay? Could also... Be, could be, you know, something karmic too that has to take place here. The next card that you have is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? So definitely, you know, I feel here, you know, you have been loving yourself here because I, I see here you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. So I feel like this person um, is, you know, seen that um, you're definitely in a good place. You've gone through a lot. You've gone through loss. That's why I feel here you're held back. Okay. Like I said, this is also like being held back. You're not, you're unsure of this person's motives or intentions. So I feel like this is an indication when this person comes around, whoever it is, um, you're thinking about you first and doing what's good for you. 
Okay. All right. So the next deck we're going to use is Angel Answer. We're just going to pull a few Angel Guidance cards. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have? Oh, they already came out. Okay. First card you have is Peaceful Resolution. Okay. So I feel here, this is an indication that whatever happens in the situation, you're going to feel good about it. Okay. You're going to feel at peace with it. Um, definitely feel there's going to be some healing around this situation um, and love and light in your heart. Okay. Happiness here. Second card you have is Let Go. Okay, this is about letting go, letting God, letting the universe, letting the divine just let things play out. Okay, let things play out like I had said here with the, with the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. You don't really have a lot of control over it. Okay, it's going to play out how it needs to play out. Um, and I feel here you're going to have to let go. You're going to have to surrender here for this healing. Okay. All right, now the next card you have is ask for help from others, okay? This is about, you know, not being afraid to ask for help from others, okay? It may be too, you may need some help, okay, in um, releasing whatever this past situation is or healing from this past situation, okay? So you may, some of you may um, be getting counseling or this just may be you um, doing it in prayer or asking your angels, um, whatever works for you. Okay. All right. We're going to pull one final card from the Lover's Oracle deck. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What message do you have for Aries? What message do you have for Aries? Let's get one card, please. Okay. There it is. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, this is also, you know, letting go, trusting and having faith that it's all going to work out. And in the meantime, just reflect, um, and, you know, and think about the situation. Okay. Healing. Time for healing. Okay. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like um, to enter for the personal reading, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.